Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you, you are welcome to the show word for today's audio daily devotion for Sunday the 14th of March 2021. Peace is not the absence of conflict, but the ability to cope with it. No matter where you are or what you are going through, God knows. He has promised never to leave nor forsake you. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title of the sure word for today's series is Breakdown Through Conflict, Part 1 of 7. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today is God has strengthened me. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 24 verse 10. Here is the Bible verse quotation. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. The end of the Bible verse quotation. The day of adversity is a guarantee. The fact you are born again is not a guarantee that you will not experience hardships. Too many Christians are quick to conclude that Satan is responsible for every adverse event they encounter in life, thereby making Satan look all-powerful. The truth is, Satan knows and understands God better than you do. I am not blaspheming, it is the truth. During Satan's encounter with Job, the sons of God gathered before God, and Satan was present in that gathering. Is Satan a son? Quoting Job chapter 1, Verse 6. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. End of quote. I am not here to exalt Satan. I am only reminding you that you have made Satan the issue, and as such, handed over your power to him. The sons of God in the heavenly throne room came to present themselves to God. Satan was there to present himself as well. The fact Satan visited your life is not the issue. It has never been the issue. The problem is you, your mind, your attitude, your understanding and your knowledge. Quoting Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, reading from the Amplified Bible, I quote, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of my law where I reveal my will. Because you, the priestly nation, have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I will also forget your children. End of the quotation. God reveals his will in his word, not through the prophets. How come all the millions of prophets present in our generation we are unable to see and lead us to pray to prevent the coronavirus pandemic. These same ministers prophesied and told us that God told them Donald Trump will win the 2020 United States presidential election. Millions of these so-called prophets are yet to apologize for getting this one wrong. The coronavirus is not an act of God because it is a natural disaster. It is the day of adversity. Adversity is a difficult or unpleasant situation. Conflicts in life are brutal and unpleasant. It is adversity. Peace is not the absence of a conflict, but the ability to cope with it. We have reached the end of part one of the Sure Word Audio Devotion series titled Breakdown Through Conflict. The Word of God conceived in the heart, formed by the tongue, and spoken out of the mouth, is creative power. No matter what you are going through, you have the creative power in your tongue to change and turn things in your favor. Join me today to speak life into your circumstances so you can live above your challenges. Repeat every word I read and be blessed. Read after me. I am the body of Christ. I am the body of Christ. And Satan had no power over me, and Satan have no power over me. For I overcome evil with good, for I overcome evil with good. I am of God, I am of God, 
and I've overcome Satan, and I've overcome Satan. For greater is he that is in me, for greater is he that is in me, than he that is in the world, than he that is in the world. I am delivered from the evil of this present war. I am delivered from the evil of this present war. For it is the will of God. For it is the will of God. I take the shield of faith. I take the shield of faith. And I quench every fiery dart. And I quench every fiery dart. That the wicked one brings against me. That the wicked one brings against me. Jesus is the Lord of my life. Jesus is the Lord of my life. Sickness and disease have no power over me. Sickness and disease have no power over me. I am forgiven and free from sin and guilt. I am forgiven and free from sin and guilt. I am dead to sin and alive unto righteousness. I am dead to sin and alive unto righteousness. Jesus bore my sickness and carried my pain. Jesus bore my sickness and carried my pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain. For God sent his word and healed me. For God sent his word and healed me. Heavenly Father, through your word, Heavenly Father, through your word, you have impacted your life to me. You have impacted your life to me. That life restores my body with every breath I breathe. That life restores my body with every breath I breathe. And every word I speak. And every word I speak. My mind is renewed by the word of God. My mind is renewed by the word of God. Therefore, I forbid thoughts of failure and defeat to inhabit my mind. Therefore, I forbid thoughts of failure and defeat to inhabit my mind. There is no lack for God, for my God supplies all my needs. There is no lack for my God supplies all my needs. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. We have reached the end of today's declaration of the Sure Word Capsule, the creative power of the Word of God. Thank you and God bless you.